Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a little sleeping baby here. I thought it would be really fun to do a what did I buy this week. On Instagram, that is something you guys requested. I realized that there was one thing that I'm going to buy this week that I haven't yet. Flowers. I usually get my flowers at Tom Thumb, but Trader Joe's is in walking distance, so I thought this would be a perfect time to go on a little walk and just let him kind of nap. Let's go to Trader Joe's. That will be the first thing I'm going to show you that I bought this week. Okay, we got it. Baby is still sleeping. We got some beautiful flowers. Okay, I'm back from Trader Joe's. I wanted some colorful flowers. They really didn't have some pink roses. That's really what I wanted. I'm gonna switch these out. These actually, I mean, this one is on its last leg. There you go. But some of these roses look pretty good. Adam helps me <laughs> take care of our flowers. He changes the water every day, which seems to help. He also has been cutting the stems sideways so that they... <laughs> staggers them a little bit better, and I think it allows the water to go up the roots a little bit better rather than cutting them flat, because when you put them flat and you shove them to the bottom, it doesn't allow water to go up the stem. This corner of the house, it may sound really funny to some people, but this is kind of like my happy place corner. My flowers, my candle, and then my candy, and we'll get to that and in a minute. And my husband too. And my husband and my baby. I am going to switch these flowers out, make it look really pretty. Also, we've had these flowers for about two weeks. I could still use a few of these. Whatever I have left over from the new ones and these, I may put them in our bedroom. That's what I usually do with extra flowers. I got a lot of advice on Instagram before how to measure the perfect length for your vase. So whatever top vase you have, you just flip your flowers over to wherever you want them to hang out of the vase and you cut them right there. I, that sounds so simple and it is, and I don't know why I didn't think about that before someone told me. So I'm just gonna take a few of these flowers, flip them over, cut them um, exactly where I want them. Okay, it's done, it's not perfect, but it just makes me happy. Like I said, this is my little happy corner with my pretty flowers, my candle, and this glass dish that's usually filled with candy. So the next thing that I bought this week is some Starburst jelly beans. This candy dish was gifted to me at my wedding shower by a family friend that was actually my neighbor and every time I went into her house, she always had candy in her candy dish. And so she kind of passed that tradition on to me when I got married. So I'm gonna put these Starburst jelly beans. They are the best jelly beans. Isn't that so right? Long. Okay. <laughs> Adam approves. Since it's Easter, jelly beans are appropriate for my candy dish. And then every season I change out the candy to whatever is um, kind of like the holiday or the season. I'm gonna limit myself to three right now because I'm gonna have dinner. But oh my gosh, they're so good. Okay, here is another thing that I got this week. The new fragrance, Ember. I got this to keep in our bathroom. In the living room, I have the Pura. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my husband loves the scent Volcano. I got the wall plugins for our guest bedroom. I think it's just nice to have everything smelling good, looking good for when we have visitors. Just by the way, I put the flowers that I had left over here, but this is a little happy corner I have going on too. And while we're in my little happy corner, I just decided I wanted more colorful spring Easter decorations than what I did last year. And just everything is so muted and I usually love that look, but this year I just want some color. But I got this bunny at Target for $5. I thought she was really cute. And then I got her two eggs. These are candles, Lily of the Valley. This one is Rose and Birchwood. I'm gonna move some Easter stuff around. I need to get all my spring stuff down. But for now, some more things that I bought this week. 
The next thing that I bought is a very unnecessary purchase, but it does make the house look a little better. This tissue sleeve. I have just a regular box under here of facial tissue, but it can be an eyesore in the house. If you can tell from my voice, I'm very congested. It was time to bring the tissues out. So I'm having to film this video throughout the whole week because the baby's teething and also I'm just trying to show you guys as I go what I've gotten in the mail and also what I've just gotten in general. One of the things that I bought this week are these clips for my hair so when I'm doing my makeup I can just pin it back these are really cute there's a lot in here I'm not the biggest hair accessory person so I don't have a lot of clippies or things to pull my hair back with I bought some claw clips and I bought these I'm taking a little break because little man is uh, unhappy in his bouncer right now so mommy's gonna bounce him for a little bit he is fascinated by the lights though and we get fussy and then we get very distracted by the lights okay so like i said i bought these clippies for my hair so i'm gonna just put them in my hair while i do the rest of my makeup Let's see if i can do this one-handed okay there we go that works he's already asleep Oh, this teething thing has really spun us for a loop here. Okay, I think I'm done for the most part, but I told you guys how I like the Febreze room spray. I just had this realization yesterday. The smell smells familiar. What does it smell like? Notes are mandarin, amber, and lava. Okay, what does lava mean? I even said it in my video that Adam loves the purescent volcano from Capri Blue. Oh, I don't know why I didn't put two and two together. But this is called ember and it has lava in it. That's a volcano. So I'm like, oh my gosh, so that's why I like it so much. And that's why Adam liked it so much because it's very similar. So I went ahead and bought the fabric spray of the Febreze. I figure since this is new, everyone's either gonna sell it out because I had to order this online or they are not gonna have this for very long. I don't know. So I went ahead and just got a bottle. Moving on to clothes that I bought for myself. I didn't have a lot of basics. I got this white top from Target. I got these two bodysuits from Abercrombie and these jeans from Abercrombie. Abercrombie is making a comeback. These are the best selling jeans. They kind of went viral on TikTok, I believe. So I need to try these on to see if I like them. They're the 90s relaxed jean. And then also I need to try these on because since having the baby, I don't know if they'll fit. I needed a good black and a new white because my whites were getting a little dingy. Speaking of dingy, that got dingy were some of my white socks. So recently got these shoes. I was wearing them with older socks that I had and my mom pointed out that my socks looked really dingy compared to my new white shoes and I was like oh that's a great point so my friend Haley suggested these socks from Amazon they come in a pack of six they're really comfortable they're thick to wear with sneakers and since the summer is coming up and I'll be showing like some leg and shorts and sneakers or cropped leggings and sneakers I do need some new socks let me try all of this on and we'll see if I'm gonna keep it. Okay, have the bodysuit on, pants on, and I have my socks on. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I need to go up a few sizes. It would not hurt. Bodysuits are really great material. I'm wearing a bra under this and you can't see it. The jeans are like, they're a nice fit. I usually don't buy jeans like this um, that have the wider leg just because I don't think they're the most flattering on me, but I wanted to try these out. They do feel really good in my waist and just how they're super high rise makes me feel a lot more comfortable. I wanted to show you my socks. Let's see if they pass the white test. Okay, all right, yes they do. So the socks are good, they're comfortable. Excuse the way I'm sounding right now. So congested that my face is swollen. Hello, I'm not showing you my face right now. Um, the bodysuit's great and the jeans feel good too. I just need to go up a size and I think it'd be perfect, so. All right, this isn't something I necessarily bought. I did get these gifted to me. I have this candle. It's by Lake and Sky 1111. I have this in the perfume, the oil, and the hand soap. And the company knows that I love them. So they sent me their three new candles. They're all amazing. Oh, something that I did buy. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love the chargeable lighter. And you plug it in to charge it, and it has a little switch right here. You charge it so you never have to worry about it running out. 
When I posted this on Instagram, a lot of people asked me, because in the review, it said some dogs and animals don't like the noise, if you can hear this. But Boaz is fine with it. I think it depends on your dog. My dog is super laid back. He could not care less if I was lighting this. I'm going to, which candle should I light first? Let's do this one. There we go. So I have this in my bathroom. And this one I'm gonna put back over here by my candle. Now we're on to baby stuff. This first one came in a pack of two. I got it at TJ Maxx. Not only is this a great onesie and I love zip ups, it has the double zipper. So it makes nighttime changes super easy. And it was like $7.99. You cannot beat that. This one came from Dillard's. It's a Burt's Bees. It's zero to three one. He outgrew this, but it's really comfy on him. This exact one that I got at Dillard's is at TJ Maxx. I also wanted to mention right after I bought these, I went over to Dillard's. They had this exact one full price, literally same day that I found it at TJ Maxx. I didn't realize how much I bought for the house. These two pillow covers just came in. These are the old pillow covers. They're unraveling. When you're buying new pillows for your house, make sure pillowcase can come off so you can interchange with other pillowcases instead of buying a whole new pillow. Okay, I think they look pretty good. I'm actually gonna have these on my couch. But just for the sake of the video, I just wanted to show you how they look. I wanted a watt texture. I think watt is really pretty for the spring and the summer just to broaden up a living room. This was a great choice. I'm glad I got these and I'm glad I took the advice of buying pillows that have a zipper because then I can just change these out. I can pack this up with my spring stuff if I get tired of it. So really happy with that. And out in the nursery, I just got done putting away a lot of his clothes that he's outgrown and just getting his drawers organized. His nursery is done in airplanes, even though I'm not going to show you right now because it's really messy. But I have a bookshelf in here that's just full of stuff that I have been calling his library. And my goal is to read a book to him every night before bed. So when I was out on a walk with my mother-in-law and the baby yesterday, I stopped at a local toy store and they had this this book it's a pop-up book Adam has his pilot license that's one of the reasons why we did his room in airplanes I got the pop-up book because Adam's favorite book as a baby was Dear Zoo and it's a pop-up book of all the cool animals in the zoo so I thought this would be really fun he's kind of already looking at it right now the colors are really bright in the book and it's really fun and interactive and if Adam liked flip books I figure this one will like flip books because he's Adam's mini me another thing i ordered this week was for the baby he outgrew a lot of his clothes and someone gifted us um, something from kite baby so i did some damage here i bought quite a few things this material is so soft so this material is super stretchy and comfortable for him i got him the footless and the sleeveless so that these will be great to wear during the hot months then i got him the ones that are not footed but longer for sleeping and just being around the house if we have the ac on so he doesn't get cold and then i just got him two footy sleepers i'm hoping he won't grow out of the footed ones for a while but uh, he's so long and tall and his foot's really long so we'll see and these make great gifts too and really i may throw one of these in his easter basket so let me know if you guys want to see an easter basket creation video i will show you what i'm going to do for his easter basket since he is still so little this is the last thing that I wanted to show you guys. This is the Soap and Glory Perfect Zen Bath and Shower Oil. It smells like lavender and tonka bean. I ordered this off of Target and it came in this week. I didn't have it in stores. It's a pretty new product. I really like Soap and Glory. I've used a lot of their products in the past and have been really pleased with everything that I've used, all the way from their makeup to their bath product. Um, so I'm excited to use this. And so that's how I'm gonna end the video, guys. Well, that is all I have for you. Thank you for watching i just gave him his bottle now it's time for me to have dinner don't forget everything i mentioned is in the description box below so if you want to try anything out that i showed you you can check it out there know where to get it and until next time we'll see you soon bye are you gonna wave bye bye